position from the mount. So you're gonna get your hand inside, get this trapped in kind of like a nutcracker, kind of tight into the crook of his arm. I'm gonna push, because it's very hard to pull someone that's a little bit bigger than me or someone that doesn't want to move and get this across. So I'm gonna push down first. So my elbow is on his sternum. I'm pushing down on my chest, on his arm. And we start pushing back up. I'm gonna use my body to shift and also my hand to clear, okay? So I'm already to the side. We're gonna lift my knee up, <clears throat> almost at the same level as his head here. Okay? And from this position, what we're gonna do is, right now my weight is a little too far off to the left. I wanna make sure that my weight is on his sternum. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, just like you're doing like a, a stretch here, okay? Like I'm stretching to make sure that my weight is on my leg here versus on my butt here. So as soon as I pull this across, I'm looking to control this far arm, pull, and we're going to that stretch position. So I'm leaning forward. My left foot is gonna turn. I have a door stopper with my toe here. So I'm stretching forward, and then now I'm gonna go into the hurdler stretch or the S mount here. And again, I'm stretching forward, okay? My left foot is gonna slide up, and my right foot is gonna, heel is sliding this way. And my left toe is a door stopper. So as I keep pushing my left leg this way, my foot stays put. Whereas if I go here and he moves his head back towards his right, my leg will start sliding. So I want to make sure I keep that pressure. His arms are crossed in a straight jack jacket position. My hamstring is riding right on his chest. Very tight here. Okay. From here, I'm just going to wrap both arms. Okay. Now, the arm that I ideally want is this arm. And I'm in a good position to attack because it's on the bottom. I'm going to put my hand down, lean towards his leg, and hook. Okay. And as I do that, I'm gonna start pulling his right shoulder off the floor, here. Okay. If you look at his right shoulder, it comes off the floor. And then I'm gonna hook my ankle behind his head and then lean forward to attack that bottom arm. Okay. With that same motion, I can go do the same thing, but now just throw the leg over his head, cut behind his head, and sit back. Make sure your legs are still on the floor. And then you've got the arm. Look how straight his arm is. So I've got about almost a foot to pull it down to my chest here. So it's very tight. That's the first arm bar. He starts defending. So bang, bang. I go into the stretch position, hurdler stretch position, and he's starting to hide his arm, the arm that I'm attacking, and he's gonna put this behind his neck here. Okay? From this position, if I go into the arm bar, he's gonna end up having his leg behind my hamstring. As I sit, he's gonna use that momentum to sit up to pass my guard or to uh, get to guard position. So when I'm attacking and I see this here, I don't wanna go in the arm bar. I'm gonna take my hand and dive underneath and underneath both. So make sure that you're not just hooking this top arm. Under and under. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and shift from this kind of S mount or hurdler stretch position, and I'm gonna shift all my body weight so I'm sitting on his sternum, facing him. Now I'm gonna hook the other arm, drop my right knee to the floor, and hurdler stretch to the other side, S mount. I've got my toe door stopper, the arm atta I'm attacking is on the bottom again. So I can lean towards his hip, pull his left shoulder off the floor, get my hook behind his head, arm bar here. I can do the same motion, throw this over his head, hook. As I fall back, keep my feet on the floor. I'm attacking the bottom arm. Get the arm bar here. Okay. Any questions with that one? Right. So we were working the uh, mount arm bar last time, you know, putting the pressure in attacking here and uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start attacking the armbar and uh, playing a little bit smarter okay and we're going to do the same armbar that we've been working get the cross grip pressure down as soon as the guy pushes a little bit up I'm going to go ahead and cross it over my chest and use my chest chest to get underneath his elbow we'll bring our knee up as high as I can okay, it should be around head level to make sure that my right uh, hamstring is kind of on his chest and as I start to pull this arm up here, okay, so before we were just pulling this arm, um, now what we're gonna do is, I'll go over the whole thing first. So here, we're gonna kind of extend our leg and lean forward again like we're doing a, a toe touch stretch to make sure that I've got my weight on his sternum. And then we're gonna go into a hurdler's stretch or S mount, get my left leg perpendicular with my toe uh, set up in this position. And then we're gonna put our hand down, lean forward and on bar. So that's what we did last time. But now what we're gonna to start to do is look at what hand is on top or on the bottom. Okay. So we're attacking this arm. If his arm that we're attacking is on top, 
okay, it's very easy for him to just make the switch to go to the defensive position. So when I'm here and I'm going to the S mount position, if I lean kind of in this direction here, forward, and I start hooking this, I'm almost putting him right into the defensive position, hook. Okay. So now I need to, I can't just go straight into the arm bar here because he's already getting ready to defend to sit up. So here, once I come in this position here, I want to make sure that if the arm that I'm attacking is on top, that I'm getting ready to get both arms. So one, two, and I hook here. This is when we're going to hit the switch. Look right into his chest. I clear up, re-grip. Now we're going back into the S mount. Now the arm bar that I'm attacking is technically on the bottom. So now I can attack this arm comfortably okay, without him defending. So we want to make sure, we want to hit this arm bar to make sure that this arm that we're attacking is on the bottom. So uh, working our way up. And what I can do is I can lean my body. So here, lean my body this way. So I can make sure that when I tuck, He's in the straight jacket position with the arm bar on the bottom. So now I can get this free arm without the defense. So working for the arm that you're attacking to be on the bottom. The first one we're gonna do is just go S mount, step, start kicking. We're gonna reach across and pull this up and this one down here. And S mount this way. So now I can attack, continue to attack the regular arm bar like we did with no defense possible. So attacking with the arm on the bottom. Let's start with that one first. Ready? One, two, three. 